Bangalore choked by construction waste. Garbage is a growing issue for Bangalore, but there is one more silent and growing addition, waste from construction debris. One can see tractor loads of such waste called CND waste being dumped on roadsides, lake beds, under many flyovers and emptied into plots. All this despite efforts from BBMT to mainstream this waste with a notification on its do's and don'ts. Currently, the city has only one functioning plant for construction and demolition waste. Rock Crystal, founded by Rajesh Kora, is the city's only CND waste processing plant. What is CND waste? Construction and demolition waste refers to particles like concrete, soil, asphalt and mortar created by construction and demolition. Rajesh says that despite stringent directives by BBMP, Karnataka State Pollution Control Board, National Green Tribunal, there is still large-scale dumping going on unchecked. While BBMP bylaws emphasize on segregation, most large generators use the cover of the night to dump this waste that is in turn responsible for urban floods and increased air pollution. Crystal Rock has been roped in to help segregate and process this waste that can be recycled into low-grade applications like fillers for pavers and blocks. What does this plant do with CND waste? The first process is crushing and then screening the material, which is usually soil, concrete, brick and mortar. Then the soil is screened, leaving behind larger, coarser material. This stuff is then crushed again into smaller sizes. Then it is screened again to get uniform, varied gradations. The plant has the capacity to process up to 1000 tons a day. The problem still plagues the city. Rajesh highlights that low awareness coupled with little efforts from the generators is blocking the initiative which many other cities are adopting. The onus clearly lies on those that generate this kind of waste. However, it is often put on the contractor who is just a middleman who clears it. Rajesh says the issue requires serious awareness similar to the rising garbage uproar in the city. Every day, Bangalore generates CND waste between 20 to 25 tipper loads, or 150 to 200 tons. Sometimes just one load may be equal to almost 20 tons. BBMP officials say more than one load is enough to choke a street, either by obstruction or by adding to local suspended particulate matter pollution levels. This menace exacerbates during rains, because the waste once dry begins to scatter into the air at street level. It is also a prime factor behind urban floods as it chokes shoulder drains. CND waste is often stealthily dumped in stormwater drains and catchment areas. While rules mention segregating it at source before it is sent to the plant, more needs to be done to oversee it. This lack of official supervision or awareness is encouraging big bulk generators to continue dumping in public places. People don't know this and often blame the contractor. It is the generator who will be penalized. This is despite most companies having sustainable laws and UN environmental policies in place. Rajesh also adds that many companies themselves are unaware of the recyclability of these items which can be reused for various menial purposes. The penalty for dumping is Rs 10,000. There seems to be a large gap in terms of support and initiative in terms of breaking the silence or illiteracy over this topic. The need of the hour is for large corporations to get the ball rolling to encourage and tackle this dusty problem. For more community updates, please follow and subscribe to the North Bangalore Post.